H how to do a different mount into star. I like this mount. So you see a lot of jump mounts in the star, which are okay. I think this one gives a little more elegance. So we're gonna start from back burn. Mm -hmm. back. Hands. So eventually we're gonna go to star this way, right? Mm -hmm. So that means elbows in there, good. Push them down, beautiful, right? So how do we get there in a mount? So let's um, go ahead and, and pencil the feet. Hips forward, stag a knee, and then I'm going back, exit this yeah, way, right? Yeah, bug in the air. Oh my God. Bug in the air? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that sound. So that's something I would do to warm up for this. So the mount looks like this. It's going from back burn. Mm -hmm. You're leaning back on me. My feet won't go on her butt there. It's going to go on her shoulder. So one here, horizontal okay. as possible. Yep. Reaching? One here, right? Mm -hmm. And then she's going to stag a knee. Essentially, you're lifting up with this leg. Yep. She's engaging her core and coming over this way, right? Okay. So I found the most common mistake, let's fall back down, please. Yep. This way. Yep. Is uh, what I've done is the flyer, as the flyer, instead of letting my base face me, I'll like jump into it and launch myself. <laughs> and what that does is sometimes, tempting. it's tempting, right? Yeah. That does is it, it, uh, it, it will um, sometimes make you a little off balance. Okay. And then you could collapse right just back down this way. Oh, yeah. You know? So you're not actually putting a foot on her shoulder blade, you're putting it right up. On the shoulder. The shoulder. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking okay. about point B, which is star, right? Okay. Yep. So, um, so support, star. Yeah, so you're okay. taking the brunt of her weight on this leg, yeah. pushing, guiding up yeah. and over. So okay. because the fall is likely, if she'll come up and land her butt this way, we move back this way. Because with star, if she lands here, she has her hands to slow down. Feet come over. The feet come over, right? So I'm going to scoot this way a little more. Mm -hmm. So again, horizontal foot. This is a lot more balanced than this, right? Okay. If you do it this yeah. way, oh, she'll no. fall yeah, over no, that no, side, no. and it's more uncomfortable. So as horizontal, this may be hard, but you don't at least get this horizontal yeah. or diagonal here. Okay. We'll lean back, foot on the shoulder, get yeah, point B. Okay, so one thing I do, I like doing a little cadence. I like going away, it gives a little bit of momentum, and then in. I'll take the weight here. She's nice and stagged for a second on this leg, yeah. and it helps to keep some of the weight towards me versus over there, right? And it protects nice. her back. Yeah. From here, watch how low, the lower I can get this leg, the easier it is for me to push this hip over. Cool. And then as the weight shifts, the flyer is going to feel it in their arms. And a lot of times the flyers, they won't be as strong as on me, they'll crunch. Can you show a crunch in the arms? Mm -hmm. okay. They'll do like this. Yeah. And then you can't, you, you can't do anything with them. Yeah. So I always teach them to push as they're, as they're being guided over. Okay. So to do the work within the transition, just okay. like if you're going home from the office, you're already thinking about, you know, what to cook a dinner, whatever, to be uh, okay. prepared once you get home. So the work is done in the transition. Once you're ready and start your crunch, it's already too hard, right? You've seen that with flyers. Yeah. It's almost impossible for them to push out of that, right? <laughs> yeah. So here you're on point B. So that's the mount. Okay. So one more time, leaning back. Let's talk about the tips again. Oh, distance wise, right? So if she's way too far away, it's, you know, it's, she's mounting in a very hard way. Yeah. And sometimes you'll get too close okay. and you'll, you'll crunch then like this. Okay. So, yeah. you know, feet to the hands is a good, mm -hmm. good measuring stick, but every flyer is different, you, you know that. Mm -hmm. And so we'll, but this is a good distance. I would start horizontal feet, leaning back. Okay. Feet in the shoulder, I do the cadence away. There you go. And when she's staggered, it's gonna, her body's gonna turn this way, so you really have to keep that weight on her shoulder. Oh, should okay. my blade be stagged before you go away? Or it should bring it in when we come back? Um, I find that it's easier just to keep the feet down than stag as you come up, because okay. it's more balanced. Okay. So away, and then stag. And then once she's here, mm -hmm. take it nice and slow, lower this leg, pushing through the arms as the flyer. You can actually use this foot to guide her up, right? Yep. To keep it there, guide her up okay. when she's on. Find Sweet. a nice solid stuff. Uh, right, let's follow this way so you can practice falling. As she's falling, she's pushing through the arms too, so she'll slow down at this end. Yay! Yay.